Ho, ho. Okay. So how do we organize our model? We talk about, we've got, you know, facts, dimensions, all that good stuff, but there's a lot that could be in these miles, hundreds upon hundreds of fields, measures, all sorts of things. How do we group that stuff together? How do we put these into folders and, and do this in a way that is consistent or repeatable? And what is the best practice? This video, I'm going to show you exactly how we group all the all the fields and measures inside of our models. And gosh dang it, please share this because need everyone, like the more we can get on this train, the easier it can be for us all to work together. All right. I, I can't wait to show it to you. This is the best practice. All right. All right. So if you like the content on this channel, hey. Like, subscribe, do the YouTube thing, leave a comment, share with your friends and family, all that good stuff. Um, and if you really like it and you want to support the channel for as low as $5 a month, you can get early access to all this content. Okay. So here is uh, my model. Let me zoom in on this so you can see it. Now, inside my model here, I actually have hundreds and hundreds or hundreds of fields that go into this, but how, how do we organize this inside of our tables? Well, let's take a look. Uh, there is a, you know, we can inside of folders actually put content together, right? So we can group everything all in one place. Now the fact table is going to be the best example that we can see all of the most common buckets because there's four. There's our base attributes. These are going to be the base, uh, um, uh, like any any degenerate, you know, attributes that are going to be on my fact table. These are going to be the values that you're actually going to show people. Okay, so these these would be um, uh, like in my internet sales. I think the lowest grain. Well, what do we have in here? Uh, okay, in this case, I had uh, like carrier tracking number, customer PO, due date, order date. They're actually date fields that are like like dimensional fields that are on the fact table record. Now, my recommendation is you hide all those so that this actually, or this actually disappears on a fact table. Uh, but that's a different video. We're not gonna get into it, but that's in your base attribute table, your base measures table. This is the, this is, these are the fields that are actually in your warehouse that you're pulling the information in and that you're going to be turning into measures. Now, once you do that, you hide all of those, those fields from that table so that people don't use them. You want them using the measure, not those base values. Now, as an author, every once in a while, you'll need to be able to use these to write new different measures or whatnot. But for the generally speaking, we, you know, for just organizational capabilities, we put all of these fields into the base measures folder. Okay. So. Uh, again, you've got your base attributes, which are the like attributes on the table. Your base measures are the attributes that you're going to hide. Okay. Our next table is going to be our ID table. Now this or folder, this ID folder in your fact table is going to have all of the IDs that can, that connect over to your conforming dimensions. Okay. So in, in this case, you're actually going to see lots, uh, you know, in the fact table, there's going to be lots of values that go in here. In your dimensional tables, though, there should only really be one, right? You, you don't want to snowflake beyond, you know, you want to go from fact to dimension, and that's it. You don't want to go dimension to, like, snowflake dimension. That's bad juju. Don't do that stuff, okay? So in the fact table, you're actually going to see that I've got lots uh, of IDs that go in here. Now, again, these are going to be values that we're going to be hiding um, uh, so that, you know, we don't want people using that value here. We want them to go to the dimension versus, go, you know, pulling the value from the fact table. I'm just showing you this to highlight how we group all of the IDs into one folder. And then the last folder that we use is the measure folder. Okay. So in the measure folder is where we actually have our DAX expressions and all of the, the groupings are in here. Now, I do recommend that you actually create subfolders within the measure table to create additional uh, like uh, groupings and segmentation, especially you know for many of you who have hundreds, if not thousands of measures inside of your model, go further, like go measures and then go like internet sales or, or whatever, like 
group those together into folders to make it easier to work, okay? But the uh, too long didn't read uh, 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 version is there's four common folders that we use in our best practice. Our base attributes, our base measures, our IDs, and our measures, okay? We use that for, for all of our tables where it's appropriate. Now, your, your dimensions are only gonna have base attributes and IDs. Uh, and you, inside your dimensions, you might, you know, further refine your base attributes into different buckets as well, into different folders. Um, but these are the four base measures that we have inside of our reports, okay? I hope this makes sense uh, to have kind of some consistency in how we work and all operate together. This is the best practice. I know lots and lots of you who follow this met methodology. If you don't, <laughs> let me know uh, how hard or easy is it going to be for you to adopt this. I know this is one place where like developers interact with like the, the semantic modelers, interact with the report writers. Getting those people onto new frameworks can be a challenge, but I think this is one that will really help in the long run, especially as you look at bringing on new uh, new report writers and new developers. The more we can kind of follow these common best practices, the easier it's going to be. All right. Uh, let me know if you have questions. Leave them in the chat down below. Hit me up on LinkedIn or X. You have the best day ever. Peace. Wow. All right, and I get it. I get it. This stuff's a lot is difficult. You're saying like, Chris, holy cow, you have to measure folders or have to manage folders. Oh my, don't worry, I got you. Head over bakertilly.com slash digital. There's like a form there saying, I need help. Just say you need help with Microsoft Fabric or Power BI, whatever it is, myself or one of my colleagues will help reach out to you. But if you think you can do it, and I know you can, check out this video here or this video here, all right? You have a great day.